Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Trainings Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course. Let's turn our attention now to basic regression analysis. In your regression tab, what I would like you to do is scroll to the bottom. There's a lot of text on the slide, so don't worry about it. You can read that on your own. It's more of a takeaway. And I'm going to zoom in just so you can see enough. And here we've got the following scenario. I've got for you in yellow six periods, whether it's annual, quarterly, doesn't matter, of earnings per share. And I want to calculate based purely on historical trend and only historical trend. What is the projected earnings per share in period 7 and period 8? Now recall basic regression, the formula for a line is y equals mx plus b. And what's y? I know we haven't touched this in a long time, folks, especially uh, this was what? Pre-calculus, if even, or CFA level 1, which we all forgot, correct? Oops, sorry, CFA student, you didn't hear me say that. But in any case, Y is my dependent variable. This is what I'm trying to figure out. X is my independent variable. What's M? That's my slope. What's B? That's my y-intercept. Now, don't forget, the whole point of this line is to try to minimize the error terms, the squared error terms, because y squared, because we don't care if it's positive or negative error terms. We just want to minimize it, find the line that best fit, find the line that fits best the data set based on minimizing the square of all of the sum of the error terms. So that's what y equals mx plus b does. Now, this is not a course on regression. This is not a course on statistics. This is a course, or this section, merely explains to us how we would actually calculate this in Excel. So, in cell D52, to figure out the slope, one function you could use is the Linus function. The Linus function just goes sequentially and says, give me the slope for the best fit line for these selected data sets in yellow. You can also use the slope function. And the slope function, you have to also actually select the x variables as well. So here, we didn't need to do that. The intercept function does the same thing, and it says, give me the intercept. Now here, similar to the slope, if you would use the slope function, you would select the x variables as well as the y variables. Now, if you were to go ahead and plug this in and say, well, y equals mx plus b, so y equals, let's say I want my seventh period, m is my slope, 14.03%, times uh, x, which is going to be 7, plus 0.887. What is the value for y based on this regression analysis? And in cell x, uh, sorry, E48, take a look. D52, which is my slope, times my x, which is 7, plus my y-intercept, 0.887, gets me the following value of buck 87. Going to E49, same thing. The slope times my 8, my, y, my uh, x variable independent, plus my intercept in purple, gets me my value of $2.01. But of course, that is going to be a little bit too annoying to have to code and too many formulas. In B48, in B48, you can do the exact same thing using the forecast function. And the forecast function does this calculation that's still here, that you see here, y goes mx plus b using our inputs, and says forecast A48, which is my independent variable, number 7, period that I'm trying to calculate, comma, and it says select your uh, known y, so your y's, and then your x variables, and... When you scroll up, you see those are selected in purple and green. You can barely see it on my screen here. But there you go. They're selected, sure enough. And therefore, that is how you would now use the forecast function, but you could also break it down using the slope or the linus, as well as the intercept function to figure out the equation. Now you'll see on the upper right-hand side of this exhibit, you have a pretty little chart. And this pretty little chart, basically, will automatically graph out in an XY scatter format, as well as automatically slip in the slope, the line, as well as give you the Y and the R squares. Now take a look, folks. What's the R squared tell us? 
Think back now. What's R squared?